Hey guys, well I think I found the problem why this bike launched. Um, it's wiring here before I repair it. Um, this wire here would normally go to there and then it plugs into the jack for the uh, charge port. Uh, I had this red wire going to it. It went around and then it went to the high voltage lead and it wasn't even um, wasn't even soldered and uh, yeah wasn't even attempted to be soldered and basically what's probably happened is you got all the goop and everything in there from the, the tape and dirt it wasn't making a connection for the longest time so the ignition was working and for whatever reason it decided to make connection that day that I went to move it and um, basically that's why the the um, dashboard was off because the the regulator wasn't getting the voltage but the controller was powered up so that's why she took off on me because of this uh, shoddy wiring job the guy had done on this thing so I figured I'd show that before I actually repair it because that's never going to happen again this is why if you don't know what you're doing with these bikes don't do it look at this one here you got a piece of wire hanging out here I don't even know where it goes stripped off this one here is not soldered Christ it's amazing I have a burning place down with this thing. So I gotta figure out where these go now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this sheath off of this and see what's underneath all that wiring there. And rewrap it all up. Mount the uh, mount the controller up to here and uh, the lights and the turn signals are all done. Front and back. Uh, I added the bar here, one across because it looks kind of odd right now. Um, I removed the one set of, I'm going to get new switches for the one side, but I removed the ones on this side. They uh, weren't doing much of anything. The horn button didn't work and the the uh, three uh, three speed switch I can add to the on the controller just dangling off to adjust that. And the, I think there was something else that was on here that didn't work properly. I can't remember what it was now. But, oh, it was the running light switch. That worked. So what I did is I just basically cut the connector off and twisted the wires together and soldered it up. So as soon as you turn the bike on, the running lights come on. Um, I made a, I haven't mounted it yet, but I made a brake light that actually works with the running light. May have an old cam housing, and then I uh, took the lens out of the old backlight that was on the bike, and cut it out and put it inside. It actually works pretty good. Um, I'll show you once I get all this wiring set up. I'll power it up and show you that the lights are all. Well, that's what I found underneath the casing. The one that was ripped was the thick yellow, and that goes to the regulator. Uh, this one does not. If you go from the thick yellow to the thin yellow, it bypasses the ignition. This one does not bypass the ignition. So that's where he fucked up. Oh well. Anyway, uh, I got my hands full with all this wiring. Once I get the controller bolted on, then we can uh, do some tests. But I'm pretty sure I'll end up putting a lead on here for charging the battery the way it was. I will tie this one to this one and solder it and uh, we'll set something up where the low voltage lead going to the battery I'll put a switch on it so I can turn the bike off I take the uh, battery in with me anyway so it'll work out okay so you're probably wondering why I have to do some serious wiring here um, I'm about to show you what I'm running currently um, yeah, <laughs> uh, it would explain why this speedometer was only reading 96 volts and it never dropped. So what I'll do is I'll power it up here. So you can see the backlight works, as well as the brake light, I'm sure. There you go, that works. Turn signals. It was working. Seems to be a problem with that. Maybe the regulator. I don't know. I'll take a look at that. Anyway, I wanted to show you the voltage. Just put the leads on here without 
smoking anything. Hundred and eight point seven. <laughs> yeah. So we'll leave it at that. Well, there we go. We got something we actually use for now. And I'll dial it in even more. Uh, you like my nice custom backlight there. It also has a brake light. <laughs> uh, the turn signals, as far as I know, are working. I had to customize this part here because I don't have anything to replace that yet. The horn works, but I won't won't do it. She don't like the horn. There's the turn signals. I think they're both working. Yep. Front and back. Front's not as noticeable, but they are they are working. Uh, I haven't hooked up the lights yet. Uh, it's running at about a hundred and eight point six volts. And then when I plug in this uh, sense lead here for safety, this is like red for a reason. <laughs> if anything goes wrong, pull the lead. Yeah, for whatever reason, my um, other throttle died as well, as well, so I'm not sure what happened there. But, uh... That's fast. So, I got something to work with there. I'm going to give you a quick walk around. It's all metal. There's no plastic or anything. Good enough. I added this crossbar here. Only because it looked weird with nothing there. Uh, I would like to actually put the mirrors in the bar ends. But uh, we'll leave it for now. Get a chance to take it out. <laughs> Later guys.